As we get close to wrapping up National Nutrition Month, this morning we want to welcome integrative dietitian nutritionist Monique Richard to the daytime kitchen. Good morning, Monique. Good morning. Happy Monday. Always great to have your smiling face here oh, in the kitchen. Thank you. And we're talking about some, uh, you know, National Nutrition Month, you know. You can have great nutrition and have tasty dishes as well. Absolutely. Delicious yes. and nutritious. Excellent. You're exa exactly right. right. Love it. Love yeah. it. But let's talk about, when you're talking about National Nutrition Month, the folks, or you're talking nutrition all year long, right. really, right. what's the one big message you want to get across? So them? this year's theme or campaign is mm -hmm. fuel for the future. So okay. we want to think about three things. We want to think about our near future, like mm -hmm. what are we going to have for dinner? What are we going to make for a snack? But also the quality of our life. How right. do we want to live our life? And also our environment and our planet. So we're thinking three things about fueling the future. A little st sustainability. Yes, yes, exactly. Sustainable food. As exactly. Well. But you got some recipes you're going to share with us. And yes. let's get started with those roasted chickpeas. Yes, roasted chickpeas. So beans are very, very easy. They're, for fi they're filling, they're inexpensive, they're versatile. So chickpeas, which are garbanzo beans, right. um, you just roast two cans, about 450 degrees. Any seasoning that you like. I used an everything bagel blend. Ooh. Ooh, nice. a little salt and they come up crispy kind of like a corn mm -hmm. nut flavor um, and so they're really great for a protein packed fiber rich snack right. for the kids or instead of popcorn mm -hmm. or instead of something sweet so a great option and I've had those with barbecue seasoning yes. on them I've had them some other ways with some parmesan on them yes. as well you can actually put them on a salad as well yep. and there's and they give you that little crunch in exactly, there with that the texture. salad yeah. yes exactly Love that. Yes. yeah so you that's an easy snack and then then and of course, you know, garbanzo beans that we're talking about, you take that right into hummus. Exactly. Hummus, we got four basic ingredients, your tahini, which is your sesame seed paste. Right. And that was just added as a ninth allergen this year. So just FYI, if you have food sensitivities or allergens. If you're allergic to be nuts aware. or seeds exactly. or anything, to be aware exactly. of Exactly. Yes. Don't use tahini, which is totally fine. There's other recipes. Um, and then you have chickpeas again. You blend it up with some lemon, um, any seasonings. I use some garlic in here and blend it up. And it's really easy and delicious, nutritious again. You know the thing I love about hummus, and it took me a while. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to share something here. It took me a long time before I would even try hummus. Yeah. But once I tried it, it's fantastic. Yeah. It's great as a dip. It's great with the, you can eat it with other foods. You can put it on pita. Exactly. It, it, it just so many uses for exactly. hummus. Exactly. Yeah, don't be scared about the name right. or, you know, what you think it might taste like. Give mm -hmm. it a try. Absolutely. And it's one of those, it's one of those dishes that takes on the, the flavor profile that you put with it. Precisely. And that's what I love about beans, how versatile they are mm -hmm. and how you can flavor them. And you yep. were talking about the protein. The, the beans pack a lot of protein. No matter they what do. kind of beans you're using, yep. they pack a lot of protein. If you're if you're doing a keto diet or you're doing something along those nature, yep. protein. Correct. Correct. Protein, protein, protein yep. beans. Seven yes. to nine grams of protein per mm -hmm. half a cup, a great amount of fiber. You're mm -hmm. getting iron, potassium, magnesium as well. And again, pennies on the dollar per serving. Right. A can can be in between 39 cents and 99 cents. Right. They're, they're very affordable. Very affordable. Yes. Uh, and and the, if, you go into, if you go into your local food city and just check out the bean section, yeah. you're going to be there a while because there's lots. lots of options. It's yep. not like the old days when you just have very few right. options. There's, all, there's beans of all kinds. Exactly. And dried beans are another great option Absolutely. if you want to avoid the added mm -hmm. sodium that sometimes in yes. cans. And of course, you can always rinse that. But dried beans are even more affordable and versatile. Um, and so, yeah, we'll talk about later what we right. can do with the canned water. And oh, I'm yeah. looking forward. That's the surprise we were talking <laughs> yes, about. Yes, secret sauce. All right, make sure you read those labels, and we want to make sure you cut down on the sodium if you yes, need to. Absolutely. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you want to find out more, go to this website. We've got it listed right here on the screen right here. She has some great ideas right there at that website. It's eatrightrx.com.